Okay, so this is part two of our IRR series, where in the first part, we explain the basics of the IRR, the formula, and how it works. Uh, we're going to pick up and build from that video to explain the XIRR function. So if you haven't watched part one, please click on that link in the description. All right, so let's pick back up with the present value formula. As we said in video one, this formula can only be used if periods are in one-year increments. So using it for any other periodic payout or earning schedules would be incorrect. So we need to alter this formula to account for payment or earning schedules that are different than year periods. So the question is, how do we alter the formula so that when there are payouts at different timing intervals other than a year, it can properly solve for the internal rate of return? And so the answer is that we alter the exponent which as you can see is linked here to every year. So that is basically um, what is what is dictating time and how uh, the cash is being discounted back. So you'll notice up here, the exponent is year three. As you move on, year four, year five, and so on. All right, so the way that we alter this formula is that we modify it to a fraction with the numerator being the total days between the start date or time period zero and the current date. And then for the denominator, uh, we use 365 or a year represented in days. So for example, let's say, um, let's go to, let's say we have a payout period that is, is February one. And so the way the exponent works is and I'll show you form formulaically, at least the exponent portion now, and then we'll do the larger formula in a bit. So it's the, it's the days and actually let me scroll up a bit. We'll move over. So we use the days formula and then it says end date. So we'll put our end date being February one. And we'll put our start date as the first date in this analysis period. So that's the days. So it's 396 days between both. And then we'll divide that by 365. All right, so let's change that to general. You can see we'll have an exponent of 1.08. And that's it, that's the only thing that changes in this formula. So now that I've explained to you the only change, um, let's actually do the formula um, in Excel. So it equals XIRR. And you'll see first we have the values, so we're gonna highlight our values. We're gonna hit comma and then the date. So it needs to have the date reference so it knows um, how to calculate the exponent in the formula. And so again, it's gonna iterate through this present value formula uh, until it gets to the internal rate of return. So we'll hit enter. And so for this particular example, there is a 32.09% IRR. All right, now let's verify this formulaically and we'll do the same thing as we did up uh, here for video one, only we'll alter the exponent. All right, so let's do equals cash flow in this period divided by one plus and we'll hit F4 and we'll do exponent, which now is going to be as we said before, days of our end date and our start date divided by 365. Let's hit enter and let's copy this all the way down. And when we add this up, we should get $9,275,743. And that's what we get. All right, so that is how the XIRR function works. And that wraps up our two-part series on IRR and XIRR. Thanks for watching.